We just bought some more Glocks, that mean we got some more sticks Stood on top of man, man, hit him all up in his chest Drizzy ran all out of breath, and they left Cha Cha on them steps Stand on everything I'm saying in these raps And don't let me catch that little loaf and he a pack Tell the truth, we the reason that your homies came up dead We turn ops to packs, I'm really active with my pistol, this just not a rap The subject of today's video proves just how dangerous it is to mix the streets with rap. In drill rap, it has become normalized to diss your ops and especially to diss the dead. But when you diss the dead, it puts a target on your back bigger than anyone can imagine. The subject of today's video is a Philadelphia drill rapper that made a viral song dissing all of his dead ops and just days later, his life would tragically come to an end. The subject of today's video is none other than Burke Street Man Man, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Burke Street Man Man, real name Wesley Rodwell, was from North Philadelphia. More specifically, he was from Burke Street slash 2418. He had a rough upbringing and was surrounded by poverty and violence growing up. Eventually, he would jump into the streets. He was closely affiliated with a notorious Philadelphia set by the name of Zoo Gang, made famous by the rapper Poundside Pop. Zoo Gang primarily beefs with another Philly set that calls themselves the Black Flags, and they are from the Blumberg area. The two sides have been beefing for years, and eventually Burke Street Man Man would become one of the key figures in this beef. Tracy and Jim, police have not made any arrests. They describe this as a targeted attack, and they say it's a miracle. With so many bullets flying, this wasn't any worse. Philadelphia police tell us four men jumped out of a minivan, fired 27 shots, and killed a 25-year-old man walking with his girlfriend who was not harmed. As I mentioned earlier in the video, one of the most known members of Zoo Gang was Poundside Pop. One day, Poundside Pop's watch was stolen from him, and it is believed that a Black Flag member by the name of Loso, real name Jaleel Shans, was the one that allegedly took it. This would put a target on his back and make the zoo want to come after him. On April 21st, 2021, Loso was leaving a restaurant with his girlfriend on the 300 block of Chestnut Street when an SUV pulled up next to them and four gunmen hopped out. The gunman opened fire on him and let off over two dozen shots. In the aftermath, Loso was tragically pronounced dead at the scene at just 25 years old. Fortunately, his girlfriend was able to escape uninjured. It is widely believed that Burke Street Man Man was allegedly one of the shooters in this incident, and him and other Zoo Gang rappers bragged about this murder in their music. I know why they mad at us. 4 deep in that Johnny with them lighters, and we sparked him up. Go to Loso Gray's site, pull up. And take a piss. Zero driver fighting for his life and his passenger also hurt following a drive by shooting overnight in North Philadelphia. Police say it happened on the highway at 23rd and York Streets just after 1 o'clock this morning. One eyewitness telling officers that a dark SUV, possibly a Cadillac, drove by the victim's car and began firing that victim's car with more than 10 bullet holes. Officials say the driver was shot twice in the head and is in extremely critical condition. The passenger was also shot in the face but is expected to survive. One of the most well-known members of the Black Flags is a rapper named NSU Shido. On September 7th, 2021, Shido was in the passenger seat being driven by his friend named Neef Curry on the highway at 23rd and York Streets. It was shortly after 1 a.m. when they were out driving and they began to be followed by a dark SUV. Once the SUV caught up to them, someone in the SUV rolled down the window and opened fire at them. In the aftermath, Shido and Neef's car was littered with more than 10 bullet holes, and Neef Curry was shot twice in the head. Tragically, he would later pass away in the hospital. 
Shido was also shot in the head multiple times, but fortunately he was able to survive his injuries. It is widely believed that Burke Street Man Man was allegedly the shooter in this incident and he claimed responsibility for it in his music. Go ask that rapper the consequences you gonna get from dissing. They left his homie in that CA top. He was dissing me and now he crying, we killed his friend. Dissing on the game, boy, you know how that's gonna end. Two right to his brain, I heard one went to his chin. He survived them shots, but we know he gonna lack a game. I know she don't shit a duck. Loafing in that car, I lost your homie. Put me curry in that car. Let's run it. Prior to his death, Burke Street Man Man would drop his most well-known song to date called Six Feeders, and this is one of the most disrespectful songs in Philly drill history. The whole song is basically just him dissing the dead members of the gangs he had beef with, and he even goes as far as to mention that he would piss on one of their graves. To make things even worse, he shot the music video for this song in enemy territory. He shot the video in Blumberg, which is the territory of the Black Flags. The song would make Burke Street Man Man the primary target for his ops, and they were eager to find him. Just four days after releasing the song, the target that he put on his back would eventually catch up to him. On Wednesday, May 25th, 2022, at 2 p.m., Philadelphia police officers responded to the 1600 block of West Erie Avenue and discovered Burke Street Man Man lying face down in the street. He was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Medical personnel arrived and pronounced him deceased at the scene. He was only 20 years old. It's sad to see the streets consume another life. Unfortunately, dissing the dead has become normalized in music, so stories like this are becoming more and more common. Let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comment section, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Damn. Bro, why they start rumbling on the porch though? Look, they look they up there rumbling on the porch. The body's still on the ground. Toast rolling the gas. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Bro, they drawn. Shit get wild. Why are they really rumbling on the porch though? Everybody over there screaming and sh-